This is Delhi. Please stand by for our next program. This is All India Radio. Welcome tomorrow. All India Radio in collaboration with Vigyan Prasar presents the science serial Welcome Tomorrow based on myriad facets of artificial intelligence. Time now to listen to the 33rd episode entitled The Trouble with Robots. Vijaya? Yes. We have come to Intelligent Robot Mall. Yes. Have you got the list we made at home enumerating the features we want to buy and the robot we plan to buy? What are you saying? Of course I have the list with me. So are we going to stand on the streets and talk or are we going to enter the mall? Oh yes 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 let's go let's go. Let's come go. come. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to AI Robotics Mall. How may I help you? Listen We want a domestic robot with artificial intelligence. Yes, so that it can carry out our household chores. And what are the household chores in your home? We peel the layers of the onions. Oh, well, I am sorry, but we do not have any robot empowered with AI that can peel all the layers of an onion. <laughs> I mean, the household chores, the domestic work done at home. Domestic chores are nothing novel, you know that. I am sorry. Our robots cannot carry out novel work. Oh ho. Uh, I mean commonly carried out chores like opening doors, making tea, cooking meals, heating water, cleaning the rooms, etc. Ah uh, yes, yes, yes. And maybe massaging my limbs sometimes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So Do you want an android machine or a gynoid machine? Eh? Gyn What do you mean? Appearance wise do you want it look like a male or a female? Mm female is okay. Female. Uh, Vijay what do you say? Hmm you are up to your tricks again. <laughs> uh, uh we want a male model. Oh whatever you say it's okay. Gynoid 6 Escort sir to counter number 336 This way sir and me please join us ma'am Excuse me so you're looking for an AI robot for domestic work Oh yes 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 and how many more people are going to ask me the same question uh, Look sir all these robots are custom made Custom made uh, Yes ma'am These machines are designed and programmed in accordance to the needs of the users. Okay. A few things are pre-installed in all the robots, but the main programming and designing depends on your specific requirements. Okay. Uh well, we will give you a form that you will need to fill out. Mhm. Mm Kindly tick the boxes against the duties you want your robot to perform. Uh, is this a, a form or a dictionary uh, i mean we have come here to buy a robot and eh? not to appear any examination you understand <laughs> i understand sir this is indeed just a form it will interest you to see just how many options we give you the separate sections are dedicated to list of different functions okay for example under cooking you will find a question asking if you are vegetarian or non vegetarian mm. it will ask you about your favorite vegetarian menu If you're non-vegetarian it will ask if you prefer mutton chicken or pork it will ask you how you like your eggs to be cooked that is half boiled full boiled fried or cooked in a curry do you prefer heavy seasoned or do you want it to go easy on the salt what about the amount of chili you want in your food and how about the spices you like if you want pulses to be cooked which would you prefer arhar or moong and you want it tempered or plain How would you like it served in a bowl or on oh, a plate? Please stop now. You have simply covered pulses and eggs till now. If you go on to include all the items, we shall be standing here till evening. <laughs> Ma'am, I suggest you take the form and go to the cabin over there. There? Yes, you can sit comfortably and tick the options given in the form. The applicable charges are mentioned against every option chosen. Ah. Oh. Once you have completed filling the form, Kindly just leave it on the machine there. It will calculate the cost of your robot according to the options chosen. Okay, okay, okay. Anything else? Uh, 
what would you like to drink? Something hot or something cold? Ah, meaning you have the option to feed the sacrificial goat too. <laughs> Sorry, uh, sir, what did you say? <laughs> ah, no, no, nothing, nothing. Ignore, ignore, ignore. <laughs> come, come, darling, come. Ma'am, sir, here is your robot. What will you call him? Uh, uh, is it necessary to name it? Uh, I mean, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, sir. This is because it is not really a name, but a command that activates it. Oh. I see. Uh, uh, so, should we name it Vinay? What do you say? <laughs> I name it anything. As long as it works. I am okay with it. Call uh, it, call it Vinay. <laughs> okay, he is my course, Vinay. Of course, ma'am. Of course, <laughs> sir. It will work. We guarantee it. We will take care of its maintenance for the first year. After that, you will have to renew the maintenance contract annually. Okay, fine. Vinay, will you come with us? Yes, ma'am. Oh, he speaks too. <laughs> oh, very good, very good, very good. Okay, now uh, load it into the car. Come. Not load. Master, sit. Mm, okay. Please lead the way and I will follow. Oh, ma. <laughs> Very good. He is so smart. <laughs> oh, ma'am, I'm so glad to see you happy. Well, it comes with a user manual. You can avoid small problems and troubleshoot issues if you follow the instructions. And of course, we are always here to help you out. Here is our phone number, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I am happy with Winnie. <laughs> okay, okay. Now let's go. Vinay? Yes, ma'am. Just see who's at the door. Yes, ma'am. Namaste, ma'am. Kindly introduce yourself. Oh, you? Really, Vijaya and her new antics every day. You are wrong, not antics. I am Vinay. All right, all right. Go and tell her Mrs. Srivastava has come. Please wait here. I will go and tell her. How odd! He has shut the door in my face. Ma'am. What is it? Mrs. Srivastava is waiting outside. Good Lord! She is here. She has no other work but to carry tales from here to there, there to here. She has so much time on her hands, yet she does nothing. Uh, okay, uh, invite her in and ask her to take a seat, Vinay. Where should I sit her? On my head! Where else on the sofa, absolutely? Where is Vijaya? What did she say? Oh, let me come in at least. She said, Good Lord, she is here. It is as if she has no other work but to carry tales from here to there, what? there to here. She has so much time on her hands. Well, please come in and take your seat. On my employer's head. What? Why should I enter? I carry tails, right? I am worthless, am I? Oh my God! Now what new trouble this Vinay has created? Oh, oh Mrs. Srivastava. Oh, what's the matter? Do come in. Yeah? Why should I? Huh? I carry tails from here to there. Uh, I have a home too. I am not worthless. I am a respectable person. Uh, Mrs. Srivastava, I never said anything like that. Really? Uh, yes, yes, believe me. It's a misunderstanding. <laughs> this this Vinay is very naughty, you know. It is exactly what you said. You just shut up, Vinay. Just keep your mouth shut. I will shut up. Ah, ah now it's okay. Please, Mrs. Srivastava, please come in. Come in. Absolutely not. I am a telltale, aren't I? Oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. Please, no. please, please, ma'am. Uh, Mrs. Srivast, please, please stop. Huh. She has gone. All this is the result of your misbehavior, Vinay. What did you tell her? But this is exactly what you said. What did I say? Huh? You should have not repeated my words at least. What should I have done? You should have said, Welcome, welcome to come in. Then you should have got her seated on the sofa. 
you should have got her a glass of water vinay water should that be hot or cold oh it should have been cold cold water is offered for drinking okay i have fed in the information ha <sighs> this vinay and his tricks <laughs> coming namaste dear madam kindly introduce yourself i am hungry for two days i haven't eaten anything for two days please give me 10 rupees i will buy something to eat with your arms god will bless you do come in please welcome madam hungry for two days me uh, no 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 i am quite all right here outside no please do come in please take your seat on the sofa madam hungry for two days me uh, i will get some water for you what would you like to drink tea or coffee tea me uh, who is it vinay it is madam hungry for two days i have welcomed her and seated her on the sofa which madam ha- uh, oh uh, who are you uh, she is a beggar woman how dare you enter my house and actually sit on the sofa you you a beggar ma- come on ma- get get ma- no no ma'am i did not want to enter he He made me enter the house and sit on the sofa. Oh, Vinay, what is all this? How did she enter the house? I invited her in and seated her on the sofa. Oh, but why? Why did you do this? You instructed me to do so the last time. So, madam hungry for 2 days. Oh. What will you take? Tea? or coffee she is not going to take anything vinay and and you lady please please get moving why are you still standing here leave leave at once i say y- yes ma'am yeah. oh this vinay what should i do of this robot now <sighs> vinay yes ma'am a uh, look Nakul's shirt is on the table. Iron it, please. Yes, ma'am. No, I just hope he doesn't do anything. Shirt, shirt, but there is no shirt here. Nakul's Nakul. shirt is on the table. On the table, I said. Iron it, please. The shirt. Here it is, ma'am. Yes, give it to me. Ah. Huh? What is this? You have torn Nakul's pants. Oh, Vinay, what are you doing? I told you to iron a shirt, and you have brought me his trousers after tearing them. This was the only item on the table. Oh. It was not a shirt. You told me to iron a shirt, so I tore what I found and made it look like a shirt. I have ironed it. to right right my foot you tore nakul's most favorite trousers oh lord what am i going to do with this fool now <sighs> hey vire how are you fine battery charge 58% surface temperature 38 degrees celsius all connections okay memory 63% full what 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 i simply asked how are you i did not ask about your configuration hey nakul you're back uh, looks like it <laughs> vinay why are you standing here i need to drink a cup of nice hot tea you know piping hot garma garam as they say in hindi go <laughs> certainly sir nice hot tea piping hot garma garam okay drink okay uh what is taking you so long vinay coming sir 
Oh, Vinny! You burnt me! You also spilled hot tea on my shirt! Place the cup on the table, idiot! Oh, what? What did you do, Nakul? He spilled hot tea on my shirt! Oh, oh. He spilled hot tea on my lips! See, I'm all scalded! It hurts! Oh, indeed, you are badly scalded! But, but how did this all happen? Uh, he did this! Oh. Vinny! He placed the cup of hot tea against my lips and poured it down my shirt as well. When I did this? But why? Sir wanted to drink hot tea. Is this how tea is served, Vinay? See how badly he scalded. Could you not have placed the cup on the table? He did not instruct me to place it on the table. He said he would drink it. He wanted it hot, piping hot. Garma, Garam. Oh, God, God knows in which evil hour we decided to bring him home. Yes. Vijaya, get some ointment. It's hurting. My face and my, my lips are scalded. It, it is burning. Not just your face. Your brain will catch fire too when you'll see what Vinay has done to your trousers. Oh, oh never mind with my trousers. <sighs> get me some medication. My face is hurting so much. Yeah, yeah. Just, just in a minute. Looks like the TV has been left on. Vinay? Yes, ma'am. Shut the TV, Vinay. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Yes. The job is done. The TV has been shut up. Okay, okay. But what is in this big box? TV. What? TV. But... Why is the TV in this box? You said shut the TV. I wrenched it from the wall and shut it in the box, right? Oh God, Vinay. Please, I meant shut it down. Switch it off, Vinay. I followed orders to shut it. I shut it in the box. <laughs> Shut down. I meant the sound. The sound of the TV was to be shut down. Oh, God. How to explain you to switch off a TV? You did not say switch off. Shut the TV means switch off the TV. Fit the information. Right? Right. Absolutely right, my guru. Vinay? Yes, sir. Uh, what is all this? All the lights are on. Go inside the rooms and put out all the lights, okay? Yes, sir. Put out the lights. Okay, put out the lights. Nakul, what is that sound? What sound? Listen carefully, Nakul. There's, there's some gas escaping from somewhere. Yes, 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 I hear it. But where is it coming? But where is Vinay? I sent him inside to put out the lights. Oh, not again. It must be something that he's up to. Oh. Let's go quickly and see Nakul. Yes, 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 yes. Go, come, let's, come. let's go, let's go. Uh, huh? Oh, God. God. Vinay, what is all this? What are you doing with a fire extinguisher here? I am... Putting out the lights. What have you done now? There is foam all over the place. You were told to put out the lights. That is what I am trying to do. To put out the lights. But the lights have not yet been extinguished. Oh, Nakul, Nakul. Please do something now. Just see. There is foam all over the room. Uh, Vinay, what is the meaning of all this? Just putting out the light, extinguishing them with the extinguisher. Put out the light. Extinguish the light. It just means switch them off. Switch the electricity off. Okay. Putting out the light means to switch them off. To switch the electricity off. Feeding in the instructions. Right? Right. Oh, 
my clothes are washing in, washing in, washing in. And there they are. The wash cycle is over. It means the clothes have been washed. Vinay? I am here, ma'am. Look, Vinay, my clothes have been washed. Now go and dry them in the sun. You remember, don't you, what I taught you about drying clothes in the sun? Yes, ma'am. Dry them in that way only. Hmm? No mischief. Yes, ma'am. Hey, kitty, my dear cat. <laughs> Where were you, baby? Come, come, come. Hmm, my bad baby. See, you have dirtied yourself. But never mind. Let me clean you up. Let me give you a nice bath. Ah, it is needed. <laughs> now look at you, my kitty. How lovely and clean you are looking. Vinay? Yes, ma'am. Come here. Hold this cat with a loose grip, okay? It is wet and it is shivering with cold. Take it outside, dry it out. And while you do this, I myself will take a bath. Yes, ma'am. Shivering, dry, in the sun, right? This kitty? Why is my kitty mewing so loudly? Oh God, has when I been up to some mischief again with them? Let me see. Let me go and see myself. Vinay? Oh! Oh dear Lord! Why have you strung up poor Kitty over there? You have even used a clothes peg to clip her to the clothes line. Oh Vinay, how could you do this to her? Kitty, my <coughs> baby! Poor Kitty! Oh. <laughs> Aren't you hurt? I, I hope you're not hurt. Vinay, now what is this new nonsense of yours? You said dry in the sun. I carried out the task according to the instructions you gave me that day. What am I to do with you now? You will ruin us all now. I must clear you out from my house. And I, I will do it today itself. Hey, Vijaya, uh, what happened? Why are you so upset? No, no, nothing, nothing. Now I can't tolerate it any more, Nakul. Look, if Vinay remains in my house, I will leave my house and go. I cannot tolerate him one more day with me. I, I will go mad with him. We thought its presence would make life easy for us. This, I, I thought it would be a good companion for us. But this Vinay is driving me mad. I know. <laughs> you... You have to do something, Nakul. Mm. Do something. Get rid of this, Vinay. Why, Vin? I think I myself can cope up with my housework. All my household chores I can do alone. But I don't want Vinay in this house anymore. <laughs> Please do something. Oh, I, I, I will do it. I will do it. You, you, don't, you don't worry at all. You don't worry at all. <laughs> I'm from AI Robotics. Oh, I am Nakul. I had called you yesterday. Oh, come in, please. We have been waiting for you. What seems to be the trouble uh, with your robot? We have a long list of problems with it. It does all sorts of contrary things when we give instructions to him. Every day there is some new kind of drama. What? <laughs> it has ruined our lives. It will drive us mad one ah, day, yes, I tell yes, you. Yes. Relax, man. She's relax. Correct. She's yeah. correct. Relax. We are exasperated with its antiques. Uh, is that so? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. You guys, please relax. Uh, let me check. Nakulji, Vijayaji. Yes. yes. I have checked the robot. There is nothing wrong with it. What? what? But he was uh, doing silly uh, things. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, let me demonstrate. Vinay, switch off the TV. Vinay, get a glass of water. Place it on the table. Huh? 
See, can you fault Vinay's actions? Hmm. But it, it behaves so erratically when we give commands. Yes. Sir, ma'am, I have checked the commands you have given. These were saved to its memory. I have also checked its responses to your commands. The trouble is that you view Vinay as a domestic servant and not a machine. What? You have to agree that irrespective of how advanced it is, Vinay is a machine after all. Hmm. Certain actions have been linked to certain specific commands. That is why if you change your commands, its action will also change. Oh. Therefore, you need to standardize your commands. This is a machine. It will take your commands literally. It cannot understand figurative speeches. But but we we are old people. A machine, irrespective of how sophisticated and advanced it is, cannot rival a human brain. What? It will take your commands literally, at face value, ma'am. It cannot analyze the hidden inner meaning of what you actually wish to say. Hmm. Remember, if you want to command a smart machine. You have to be smart in your behavior too. True. You got it, ma'am. Oh, yes, you said. Are you guys right. now satisfied? Satisfied. Oh, for certain. Yes. I'll take yes. your leave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome tomorrow. You are listening to the third episode of the science serial produced by All India Radio in collaboration with Vigyan Prasad. The title of the episode was "The Trouble with Robots." This episode was scripted by Dr. Arvind Dubey. transcription by sukanya datta concept and coordination by dr nakul parashar and dr birendra kumar tyagi the episode was directed by pankaj pati pathak and assistance in production by fiza choudhury the participants were nikhil diwan gorav mamta malkani nitin bhaseen niloy and pragya jha do stay tuned there are two questions for you the lucky listener will get a attractive prize from vigyan prasar the first question is In future when we hire robot as domestic help what precautions we need to take in giving command to them and the second question goes like this how we should prepare ourselves to live in the world of ai based machines you can send in your answers by simple post to this address science serial welcome tomorrow vigyan prasar a50 institutional area sector 62 Noida 201309 you can also write to us on our email id radio at vigyanprasar.gov.in do write your full name and your full address along with the answers and yes if you send us any question which gets included in our program you will get a prize from vigyan prasar for that too so do not hesitate to write to us we will be back again with our next episode of the science serial welcome tomorrow same day same time next week till then goodbye this broadcast came to you from all india radio delhi